Art Beyond is a two month long event. This event is part of the Schneider Museum of Art's Art Beyond, which is a series of outdoor adventures and exhibitions that are happening around Southern Oregon. It's an adventure outside with art. Art Beyond is taking what we do inside of the Schneider Museum of Art and bringing the artwork beyond our gallery walls. But when the call went out for Art Beyond, I think so many of us said, yes, why isn't there more outdoor public art? We could be a destination for this kind of thing. Ashland's so beautiful. Ashland is a destination that is rich in all kinds of experiences, and this is a project that really highlights that. And when I got the call out for Art Beyond, I thought, oh, that just sounds like a wonderful experience. I'm really excited about what Art Beyond has done to Oregon. My name is Scott Melbourne. I am the executive director of the Schneider Museum of Art and the creator of Art Beyond. We have five unique and special site partners. They include Willowit Ranch, in which we have a scaffold constructed by artist Avanti Kabawa titled A Yellow Scaffold on the Ranch. My work is pretty straightforward and minimal. When I have an opportunity to create a platform where musicians can respond to it, I think it adds a whole new level of experiencing it. She collaborated with Terry Longshore, who composed a score to perform with left edge percussion on Avantika's scaffold. When I first saw the piece, I was struck by looking at the scaffold itself, but also the sky above it through the scaffold. This incredible artwork and incredible surroundings. Science Works Hands On Museum was our open call site in which artists locally and regionally were able to apply. And the Schneider Museum is awesome. Um, Ashland is a very special place in that we do have two museums in our town. And the, the vision of the ramp um, is the thing that made me stop first and foremost. The artists have done a very awesome job of incorporating some of our existing physical building structure and um, landscaping. My art pieces are whimsical. They're not found in nature, but they make me smile. I didn't notice it at first, but then I noticed, oh, there's animals in the trees. With COVID and with everything shut down and no dancing, no joy, I just had this idea of making some enormous dancing figures. It's been awesome to have artwork in our field. The most surprising thing about the installation closest to the building is you don't notice it at first, and then you're like, what's that yellow thing? And then you realize there's a TV outside, which is just kind of mind boggling to me. <laughs> it's been great to pair art and science. The Vesper Meadows site, we collaborated with Signal Fire and presented a tinderbox artist residency for local artist Gabriel Barrera. When I got there, I saw the barn. I was kind of excited. It spoke to me as if it's like an old weathered surface that that needed an intention, it needed a purpose. And in the same way, like I need a purpose for my art. Having the experience to do this residency has been just rewarding. And for me, it was a really deep experience. At Mount Ashland, we're able to get our audiences elevated over Ashland with views of Mount Shasta, Mount McLaughlin, and Pilot Rock. We had four artists and one team of artists present sculptural installations. Being a part of Art Beyond has special meaning to me because I grew up with Mount Ashland being my second home. I was a ski racer and so I spent every weekend up there and so being placed up there for this show was really special and also a huge challenge. Working with all natural materials that were going to be on top of the mountain for multiple months withstanding the various kinds of weather that we know can happen up there so everything that is a part of my piece there is collected from right there. Lithia Park brought us back to the heart of downtown Ashland. You can't pick the weather, but if you could, it would be what we have now. It's an idyllic day in the park. Saturday in the park was a full day of plein air painting by local and regional artists. We've got about 30, 35 artists out today. They're wandering around in little corners of the park. When you're plein air painting, you typically look around, try to find something that strikes you, make a composition, you know, you might see people doing like that. If it's successful, you get something that's like really fresh and alive. You'll see lots of simple brush strokes that are left, and that is the charm. Whistlegraph presented a series of free family days. I'm a butterfly flapping for you guys. It's just a costume I put on in my room. Oh. We utilized Nancy Baker Cahill's fourth wall app 
and presented an augmented reality program in which audiences were able to use the app and upload their artworks to Instagram. So to bring the museum and to bring the idea of art out of that box to a wider community I think is really special and valuable. We in Oregon truly have a very diverse landscape from mountains to dunes and Ashland really explores that diversity of topography. I would just love to thank everybody who was involved in making this happen. It was a really, really wonderful experience. I think this has also been a great way of allowing people to engage with art while being safe and socially distanced. And I'm very honored and grateful to have been part of the first year of Art Beyond Artists. If you value art in your community, please let us know. It is our intent to present Art Beyond again in 2023 and turn this into a biennial event for our region.